Welcome back, everybody. What we are going to be looking at now is we are going to be looking at a cosine rule, right? Now, uh, just to, you know, take a, a brief recap in terms of what a cosine rule uh, entails, right? Now, remember that we we have learned that uh, in our previous grade, which is our grade uh, 10, we've learned that if you want to calculate either the missing side or the missing angle, right, uh, especially within a right angle to triangle, you're always going to use the, the rules of sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta with uh, their correspondence ratios, which is uh, for sine, it's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is going to be adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan is going to be opposite over adjacent, right? However, now in this one, uh, in this regard, we are going to now look at shapes, or rather we are going to try and look at shapes which are not uh, right angle to triangle, right? So what we are seeking to find is, we are seeking to find shapes that are not right angle triangle, right? So if you are not given uh, a right angle to triangle, what is it that you are going to do, right? So now we have... Uh, this rule called a cosine rule right now now how do we use your cosine rule right so now if you want to calculate a side right you have uh to have its opposite angles and the other side right so what does that mean now we are saying if let's say now you are given this shape which is not a right angle to triangle and obviously this one, this here, it's going to be your small letter C. This is going to be a small letter B. And this is going to be your small letter A. How to get? You're just looking at the opposite angles with the corresponding side, right? Now, if you want to calculate, now let's say you want to calculate what is going to be your A. Now, we want to calculate your side A here. What is going to be your side A? For you to be in a position to calculate your side A, according to your cosine rule, right? You need to at least know what is going to be this side. Uh, you know what is going to be this side, right? I uh, need to know what is going to be the value for this side and also what is going to be the value for this side, right? So which means you need to have this side here, this side here, and that particular middle angle, right? And then now, and you are then going to calculate what is going to be your A, right? So for you to calculate what is going to be your side A, you need to have the angle that is opposite to side A. You need to have now this, uh, the sides or the length of the sides uh, in between that particular angle, right? So which means you need to have this angle and the sides, uh, the sides so that you can be able to calculate your A, right? So therefore, uh, cosine rule, therefore we have these formulas. So which means now, if you want to calculate your A squared, your A squared, it is going to be given by B squared plus C squared subtract 2 uh, BC cos of what? Cos of, uh, of A, which is going to be the angle that you have given. And now if, let's say, now you want to calculate your B, B is going to be B squared, which is going to be now A squared uh, plus your C squared subtract 2AC cos of uh, B. How we took it? And now if you want to calculate your C squared now, your C squared is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by A squared uh, uh, plus your B squared subtract your 2 uh, AB cos of your C. Okay. So these are basically the ratio or rather the formulas that we use when we want to calculate our uh, missing side. Okay. So this is what we use to calculate our missing side. Now, uh, let's check in terms of what do we then use if we want to calculate the missing L, right? Now, let's say, uh, now let me just draw this, uh, my triangle here. Now, let's say now what you are given is, let's, let's erase that. We Let's draw it nicely, right? Now, let's say now you are given this other triangle, right? Now, 
uh, let's say in this triangle, they want you to calculate uh, the missing angle here. They want you to calculate what is going to be your missing angle here, right? Uh, here, let's say this is uh, also still given by what? This is still given by your A. Uh, this is given by your B. This is given by your C, right? So they want you uh, to calculate what is going to be your angle B, right? And for you to calculate what is going to be your angle B, now you need to have what? You need to have what is going to be the corresponding side C. You need to know what is going to be your B and what is going to be your A, right? So which means for you to calculate any angle, now you need to have all the values for all these sides, right? You need to know what is going to be the length of all these sides, right? So this is what you do when you want to calculate the what now? The angle. You need to calculate or you need to find out what is going to be the length of all these sides, right? So whenever you want to calculate any angle, you need to know what is the length of it, uh, of all these sides, right? So now let's say, for example, you wanted to calculate now what is cos of A, right? This one. So you are going to say now, look, your angle A, it was going to be, look, this was going to be cos A, which is going to be given by, uh, this is going to be B squared plus your C squared, subtract your A squared uh, over your 2PC, over your 2PC. And now your cos of B, it is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by C squared plus your A squared, subtract your B squared over what? Uh, over your 2AC over your 2ac i would to get and now your cos uh your cos of c in this regard is going to be given by what it is going to be given by your a squared plus your b squared uh plus your b squared subtract your what subtract your c squared over your 2ab i would to get so now this is what you're going to uh, do when you want to calculate your cos of C, right? So basically, these are the general uh, formulas that you are going to use when you want to calculate your either your missing side or your missing angle, right? Now, let's check one example and see what we have. Uh, now, let's say you are given this problem, right? So now we are given that you have A, B, C, and then you are given that your angle B is your 53.2 degrees, your uh, side BC, it is seven centimeter, and your AC is eight meters, right? Uh, I mean, it's uh, eight centimeters, I mean. So now they want you to calculate in terms of what is going to be your side uh, C or the length or the value of your side C. Now, what is it that you're going to do? Now, remember that I gave you the, uh, the formula. Remember, we said now, for you to calculate, you need to check whether do you have the sides, right? The two sides, uh, which is these ones and the correspondence angle, right? And if that's the case, then you are going to proceed. So now what is it that you are going to do? We are going to say now, look, so therefore, which means your C squared is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by A squared plus uh, your what? Plus your B squared, subtract your two uh, a b cos of what cos of angle c how to get now that's what you are going to do now therefore what you are then going to do then you're going to come and substitute now what do you have as your uh as your a remember if this is your angle of a this correspondent side here it is going to be side a and this correspondent side uh here uh, this correspondent side here, I mean, we are looking for P. So this correspondent side here, uh, if this is your, uh, if this is, let's say, uh, your C, this is going to be your correspondent uh, side C. So actually what we are looking for here, we are looking for our B. So let's rectify that. Now they want us to find out what is going to be your B because remember B is the one that is front opposite, right? So this is going to be a P. Oh, it's good. Now, which means now the formula for B, we uh, hopefully we still remember. So for B, it's going to be still B squared is equals to uh, A squared plus your C squared, subtract your two AC uh, cos 
of B. Oh, it's okay. Now, then, what is it that we are then going to do now from there? We are going to say, what is going to be your site B? Or rather, what is going to be your site B? Your site B squared is the one that you are looking for. And what did you have as your A? Your A, you know that you have 7. So this is going to be 7 squared plus what is going to be your C. Uh, your C here, it is going to be your what? Your 8 squared subtract 2, 7 multiplied by 8. Uh, cos of what? This is going to be cos of 53 uh, degrees point two. Oh, it's okay. Then now, what is this going to be? Now, remember, you are looking for B, not B squared, right? So, which means now, in this case, your B, it is going to be given by root of. Uh, now, this is going to be, uh, what is going to be 7 squared? This is same as 49 plus, what is this? This is 64. Subtract 2 into uh, 7 multiplied by 8. Uh, cos of uh 53 uh point two degrees are we to get then now what is therefore going to be that value which means now your b in this case what you are going to be given as your b it is going to be six comma uh eight centimeters right because when you punch this in your calculator you get six comma eight centimeters are to get so now this is how we are going to calculate the uh for the missing side let's look at other problems them. Now, in this case, firstly, what they require us are uh, uh, the what they require us to do is they want us firstly to calculate what is going to be your KS. Now, if you look at what is your KS, your KS, can you see that it is the side opposite to H? So actually, this is your small uh, H, right? Now, because remember, this is K and the side, uh, the angle that is opposite to that particular side, it is going to be your what? Or rather, the side is going to be side K with the small letter K. And your S here, it is going to be what? Your small letter S here. Oh, it's okay. So now, which means now what we are then going to use, we are going to say, look, you are looking for what? You are looking for H. And you have what? You have this side you have this side and you have the interior uh, angle. So therefore you are correct or you are good to go to use your cosine rule, right? So now this is going to be your H squared, which is going to be equal to your K squared. Your K squared plus your S squared subtract your 2KS uh, cos of your age isn't it so so now then what you are going to then uh now do is you are going to now substitute you come and substitute right so what you have as your k you are given that you have four uh comma what four comma seven three squared plus what is your s your s is nine comma six one squared subtract two into four comma seven three multiplied by nine comma six one right uh then this is going to be cos cos of what uh cos of age isn't it so and then now from here what is it that you are going to do you are going to say look now because you are looking for h not h squared so you're going to put all these things under one roof right so you're going to write this all these things under a root a root sign right so this is still going to be the same thing so this is still going to be same as your four comma seven three squared plus your nine uh comma six one squared subtract your two into four comma seven three multiplied by nine point six one uh cos of what is your h there it is one four four point five degrees out again so now which means actually when you calculate that you are going to find out that your value of your h it is going to be given by 13,74 units, right? So that is going to be your value for your age. How to get? Now let's look at number two in terms of what uh, number two requires us to do. Now in number two, they want us to find out what is your uh, angle K and also your angle S, right? So now to find out what is the angle. Now, remember now that we are looking for the angle. So which means it's the same thing now because they want us to look for angle uh, K first. So which means you are going to take this angle here. 
and then you are going to take the side this side and also the side this side right and what and the opposite uh corresponding side all together so now what is it that you're going to do look so which means your k it is going to be you're going to have cos uh of k which is going to be given by what this is going to be given by uh eight squared plus your s squared subtract this side what is going to be the side the side which is going to be your k squared over your uh, two into h multiplied by your s i would to get now therefore what is going to be your cos of k your cos of k in this case uh it is going to be given by what what you are given as your h what is uh what is it that you are given as your h in this regard now uh your h is given by what let's see in terms of what did we find as our h luckily is the one that we found there so this is going to be uh 13 13 comma 74 uh squared plus what is your s your s is given by what uh it is given by 9.61 squared subtract what is your k now your k it is going to be 4 comma 73 squared right over now what is going to be this this is going to be 2 into what is going to be your h your h is 13 comma 74 into what is going to be your s your s is 9.61 how to get and now that you have uh done that now you can simply just punch everything into your calculator then you're going to find out that your uh your k right your k it is going to be given by 11 comma 53 degrees right so that is going to be your coordinates or rather your angle for k which is going to be 11 comma 5 3 right now let's look at the last question the last question want us to find uh your angle s right your angle s so what is going to be your angle s now this one is simple because already you have your k here which is 11 comma 5 3 degrees right so which means your s is going to be given by what now 180 degrees subtract your uh, your 114,5 degrees, uh, which is going to be also plus the 11, uh, 53 degrees, right? Remember, this is going to be sum of angles uh, in a triangle, right? So therefore, your S, which is going to be given by what? It is going to be given by 23, your 9, 7. Right, so this is going to be twenty three point nine seven degrees. How to get? So now this is how you then going to calculate the missing angle of these particular problems.